You feel your eyes start to droop as you listen to your favorite song on repeat while the leaves fall to the ground leaving the most beautiful earthy scent and as they are crushed beneath your friend's feet your friend's name is Mickey he had been pestering you for a while and you were just about sick of it for a long time now, he had been saying that parties were popping up everywhere and you had nothing to do with them. You don't really care much for them, but he insists to drag you to one tonight. He always says something about feeding the beast called your appetite so you can feel what it was like to be alive. You decided to just give him what he wanted and attend a party he would bring you to. The worst thing that could happen would be someone called the cops. And then you had to run as fast as you can away from it all. He lets himself in with the spare key you gave him and barges into your room. Get up! Are you sleeping or something? Time to feed the bean, dipshit! He exclaims, tossing his jacket onto your face. You were already ready, so after you re retort an insult to him, you both head out to the party. The party was located in some rich kid's house, blasting loud music and multicolored lights with smoke machines. It was the most cliche party you had ever seen. You and Mickey head inside and grab drinks. Alcohol had always made your head spin too much after a few sips, but he hands it to you anyway. You gotta be able to drink this and not be a pussy. Mickey says. You shoot him an insulted glare before looking down at the cup. After you take a small but long sip, you look up to see that he had ditched you to go off into the crowd. You call out to him and scream about how much of a dickbag he is. But then you stop to look down at your cup again. You sigh and walk away to a dying plant arrayed in a corner by stairs that led to the second floor. Dumping your drink into the pot you look up and see the most beautiful person you had ever seen. Their complexion was pristine and soft looking eyes had pierced into you with the allure worthy of a predator and a prey. The very image of this person was mesmerizing. The thought of someone like that even talking to you seemed impossible until they noticed you and walked down to the steps to speak with you. They greet you with a smile and you are instantly intoxicated by their presence. You have spent what felt like an hour talking to this quintessential creature in front of you when they nudge closer to you their hot breath sails across your sensitive flesh they whisper something into your ear that makes you blush you hope that this is actually happening and that this person really exists and is trying to get you into a bed perhaps this is all a good dream and you are going to wake up just when things were getting really good. You were so distracted by any possible reason of why it couldn't be happening that you hadn't noticed they led you into an empty room with a big bed and expensive sheets. When you finally snap out of your modest and pessimistic trance, you're on the bed with that person trailing kisses across your decomate. 
you start to feel blood rush all throughout your body as the heat between you two begins to soar. You both crash into each other, rolling around in the sheaths as you both become stark naked. The warm, gentle teasing of your partner ushers you to touch them. You kiss their neck so deftly to where you hear a small but seductive moan peep out of them. This becomes the motivation as you begin to hold them into a soft lumbata, grinding your hips into one another. You feel a high like you never felt before as Mickey's words echo into your head. Be you beast! It exhorts to you. Your vision starts to blur as you continue to pleasure your partner with your mouth until suddenly you wake up. No. Not from a dream. You see Mickey standing at the foot of the bed, smiling triumphantly. You look around in confusion until you finally realize that the person you were just about to make love to is ripped in half, drained of whatever juices they ha would have flowing through their body, blood being the main thought. As you look up at Mickey while bathed in the plethora of that perfect person's remains, he says, Well done. You fed the beast. Did you like it? Hope you did. If you did, why not like, share, and subscribe? There's more to come soon.